Watching Man City generally has become boring. And that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. Not boring in terms of their wonderful technical ability and cohesion and all the credit. I'm, I'm talking about the outcome. Because they win that many football matches so comfortably. Um, it's they're very hard. More ruthless at the right time, though, aren't they're, they're they? A wonder, they're and a wonderful Europe. group of players run by an elite manager who knows how to get the best out of his players. And and one of them, their main strengths is the fluidity doesn't change when the personnel changes generally. That's mm. how good they are. And that's down to the manager. I mean, we're agreed, Sam, and I think that City fans enjoy it while Pep's there. Yes, I think so. I think it's going to be very difficult to replicate what Pep Guardiola... I mean, there are people will talk about succession programmes and the ability for the best to, best clubs to be able to build the most football clubs. Liverpool did it in the 70s and 80s. Even Liverpool then fell, fell foul of that. And nothing lasts forever. No. But it's remarkable. I mean, it does help when you've got players on the other side that want to change shirts at half-time with the centre-forward. Yes! And, and you work that out as a, as a manager or an owner of a team going, the hell are you doing? But Manchester City, as Danny quite rightly says... You know, it's boring in terms of you know what the outcome's going to be. They're a remarkable side in so many different ways. And Pep Guardiola, irrespective, I don't always agree with some of the things that come out of his mouth, I think he is undoubtedly, probably generationally, one of the great greatest managers mm. that we've ever seen in world football. Mm. We've ever seen. Yes, I agree. Well, Simon touched it there, and I, 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 it just reminded me of that moment at halftime. Erling Haaland was asked, I think, to swap shirts with uh, Muhammad Ali Kamara, who's the captain of Young Boys, no less. What is your, as a, a former top player, what that is the cardinal sin, is it not? The game's the game is halfway through, and someone's asking Haaland, "Can I have your shirt?" It's not something I've ever done or grew up being taught to do, or or I, something in me that feels wrong. There's a, there's a slightly there's a competitive edge to you that either is there or it isn't. Now. There is some understanding around it from my perspective in that some players will never get the opportunity to play against elite players. Oh, Danny. No, 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 let me finish. Yeah, so Danny, for it, what about the look of it at half time? It's not right. I don't agree with it. But what I'm saying is there's an understanding around. So, for example, if you're going away to Yeovil as Liverpool in an FA Cup game and some of these Yeovil lads have never, you know, because that's the type of game I'd play. I'd play, I remember going to Yeovil and then someone asking me at half time. And I got it. Like, I didn't want to say to him, you shouldn't be doing that, but it's Yeovil against Liverpool. We're going to beat them anyway. It's like, have it, no problem. You know. So you swapped at half-time to, to oblige swap. this I, boy? I didn't swap. Gave I gave yeah, to give, you give me your shirt. Yeah, but there's a way of doing it. You know, use your brain. Do it when you get in the tunnel. No if you're the see. owner of young boys, at half-time... <laughs> Are, are, are you not get, this is yeah, your I'm captain not, yeah. are you not getting on to I mean, the man, under, are you not getting on to the manager yeah. saying hey have a I mean, word with him it's the Champions League football you're, you're in the Champions yes, League that's, it, that's, it's, it's not Yeovil versus Liverpool that's in the, the comparison I was giving yeah. yeah so it's wrong yeah it's yeah. Champions League football you're, you're in that elite group because that's where you are and you're likely to be in that elite group again I don't know I, don't, I can't understand it for me it's a a total anathema to how I would want to operate which is basically I don't I show the opposition no respects rather than this diff, you know, this ridiculous deference. But that that certain modern day footballers. To be I mean, honest, I, I wouldn't do it at the end of a game. No, neither would I. On the occasion on play, the, but, you on, know. it makes you feel inferior. It's like you're above me. I need your shirt for the only few times I did it was people I knew who I'd met over years and you know for a really good cause or a or a family member who was dead, you know, or a big charity thing where but I wouldn't ever do it there and then. I'd might you know, it'd be down the top can can I sort that later on. And I'd speak to them before the game about it maybe. Yeah. But I, I'm not in that camp of I it's an embarrassing look yeah, yeah. you're right oh yeah I would think so I mean mm. you'd almost be tempted to say to the lad yeah. oh, look we're going to dock your wages for that mm. it looks like, it, I think the Celtic players did that with Atletico Madrid though didn't they as a matter of course <laughs> can you see anyone else's name on that Champions League trophy that, other than Manchester City Danny can you see anything other than the outcome being the same as it was last season another City treble um, I don't think they'll win the treble again. I, th I think you, you've got to remember in competitions of high level, like the Champions League, you you need moments to go for you. Um, and they are they are going to come up against a Munich side or a Real Madrid side again, who are who are going to be really competitive. So, I I don't I think a treble everything has to go your way to win a treble. I don't see that again. But they're going to be there or thereabouts. It's going to take hell of a side to beat them. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but as you saw in the League Cup, did they get knocked out League Cup at Newcastle in a one nil? Was I think it was a one nil. Mm -hmm. You know, if the FA Cup, they get a tough draw in a, a, a time where they've got other big games around it and they rest a few. You know, they could get Liverpool away. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, th- those type of games can go. It doesn't them. feel watching the way that the European landscape is playing out. And I know that Bayern Munich are going well and Harry Kane is doing what Harry Kane does. But it doesn't feel like Manchester City have got anyone really, unless Manchester City decide that they're not going to turn up in a game or they have some incredible bad luck. I can see, because it feels like the way that Manchester City are going at the moment in time, I can see them doing another treble. I can see it. Yes. Um, because I think it's something that would be. I mean, doing it once is remarkable, but if you start doing it twice, you're starting to just tear up the, the record books, tear up the, the, the history of the game and looking at the future, thinking, well, then people start making the argument about dynasties. But I can, I can see, I can see, I can see Manchester City winning the Premier League, no doubt about that in my mind. If they choose to win the FA Cup and they've got the ability, they're doing this without their best player. Yeah. You know, Kevin De Bruyne mm-hmm. at this moment in time has not even been, been mentioned right now because all the focus... He's on. That's other right. Players. You almost forget that. Yeah, yeah. You know, all the perfect yeah. perfect on Bernardo Silva and what he's achieving on the on the on the on the field. But the bottom line is, is that at Haaland, this is a remarkable side, and I think <laughs> if they apply their mindset and keep their motivation, which the debate was at the beginning of the season, will they? Mm. I don't think you've got a choice. But the thing is, in the Champions League, you've got a choice. You make yeah, I, and, and you're probably right. But there, there is a there is in the Champions League, depending on the time and of the tie, if you've got to go to Madrid or Munich on a night where. Harlan's out because he's got a little yeah. ankle injury yeah. and Rod- Rodri's yeah. suspended. Yeah. And you take a two 0 you get a, you get you have a bad night at the office. You get a man sent off, at, you know, at, just before half time, and all of a sudden you're on a bad day. But this is a but with Com- respect, co- competition but isn't about is, consistency. But this, isn't, this isn't about you know with this Man City side of drill. They don't get players sent off. You know, that, they don't do what Tottenham did midweek, which is true. spontaneously combust. That's yeah, true. they're programmed. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.